not real happy yeah. about this. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Just like that, Finally. everybody. We'd like to welcome a very funny lady, Gina Brion. <laughs> welcome to the Hampton Road Show. And, and, and I say that because... Um, I'm, we're so excited. We have a lady. It's a female, a female comedian. comedian. <laughs> and we, nothing, nothing against the, the fellas, but it's nice to have some girl Yeah, right? Power. So nice what you got, Chris? Different. Huh, I'm on Gina's side. Uh-oh. What? We're um, together now. Everything she says, so, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a second. I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused here. How long have you been a female comedian? We've been. How long have I been a female or a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put them together. I mean, no. I mean, is you it, are I mean, a female. It, is, I mean, we we normally get men come through. Men, men, yes, men, yes. men, 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 men. Female. Wow, this is great. Yeah, it's something I mean, different. I mean, what are you bringing as a female comedian to the world oh. of entertainment and com Ooh, comedy? That's a heavy. That's a loaded question. You I know. Like you're a catcher right now. I feel like I bring a lot because it's just a different perspective. Like a lot of times when I'm in comedy clubs after the show. I'll talk to the audience, and they'll be like, it's so nice to hear something different. And at mm -hmm. first, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, a female comic is on the show. What is this going to be like? <laughs> is she funny? And, yeah. Is she going to be funny, or is this going to be a whole bunch of jokes that I don't get? A lot of the guys sometimes will look at me like they're just about to tune out, and then I'm like, uh, no, don't do it. Don't, just pay attention. I swear you're going to have a good time. And it always ends up that they come up to me, and they're like, you know what? I don't ever see a lot of female comics. And I had a really great time, and that feels good That's to have, awesome. yeah. you know, made that much of an impact. A lot of times, I am the only female on a show, so it's kind of important when you're the only chick to, you know, set a good. When example. did you realize like this is something that you wanted to pursue? Uh, um, you know, the, we always hear the stories about they tell their parents like I'm going to be a comedian. Oh yeah, I was always the goofy kid. Mm -hmm. I was always the kid that was like, always, I would put on a show. Like every holiday was like, all right guys, it's time for me to grab my Barbie dolls and put on a nice <laughs> show for you guys, and. Uh, when I was a kid, that's what I did. And then as I got older, uh, I think I was like 14 when I first discovered the art of stand-up comedy. Mm. Oh. I saw Brett Butler's first Showtime special, and I didn't know what it was. I had never, because in the Latino community, there's not, um, traditional stand-up isn't really kind of something that we have a lot of. Mm -hmm. We have more, like literally clowns. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking the nose <laughs> and the funny shoes and the makeup. Clowns or people that do big physical comedy. Mm -hmm. You did have guys that did a, like play on words and a lot of that was, you know, all in Spanish. But a traditional stand-up, I didn't really know what it was until I saw Brett Butler and I was like, what is this thing? There's this woman on TV and everybody's just captivated and listening to her and she's funny and I got all her humor and I fell in love with it. And kind of that's when I decided this is what I'm doing. That's awesome. Nice. And that first time on stage. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> I was not nervous, amazingly enough. Do I you was ever get nervous? Kidding. I was 17 years old. First wow. time not nervous? Yeah. What? 17 years old, not nervous at all, excited more than anything else. And that's I was, good. My second time, I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> Wow. Oh, really? The second time is when it hit You're me. Like, like, I can't possibly recreate <laughs> this again. Yeah, I was like, I have to do again. this again? I don't understand. <laughs> I thought that was it. Like, I was going to be, that was good. That was good just one time. But no, I came back and did it again. And first time I killed, second time I bombed awfully. Kill, bomb, kill, oh. bomb. Kill, bomb. Well, kill, 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 kill. At some point in your career, you have to have one of those. Yeah. You learn, obviously, oh, yeah. you learn from it. And it makes you less, I, I feel like it makes you less scared because... Mm. What it forces you to do is you're, you're only as good as your last set. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So you have to get back on stage. And it's like, yeah, I bombed, you know, last night, but I, I'm doing another set tonight, and it's going to go great, and I know it is. And then you just keep going and going and going, and you try to top yourself. Right. Like, that's really your only competition is how can I do better than the last time I was on stage? You know, I'm sure it's been a long time since you bombed. What are you going to do tonight and this weekend at, at the Funny Bone? You're going to kill it. We had a great I, show last night. I you had a, an amazing show last night. I'm mm -hmm. loving the crowds out here. They're so welcoming because you, right. when you go to a new place, it's always like, are these people going to get me? Mm -hmm. Are they going to, you know, are they going to give me a shot? You know, are they, are they just not going to be interested in what a female has to say? <laughs> But the audience has been so incredibly welcoming, and I'm looking forward to it. I connect a lot with my audiences. Nice. I tend to mm -hmm. end up leaving, and, um, like, I have another family. Nice. Yeah. Like, I just made a whole room of friends. And so I, I anticipate that's what's going to happen this weekend. I'm going to leave with some more Virginia family. That's there right. You go. So if you want to be part of Gina's family, you can see Gina Brion tonight through Sunday at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. For tickets and information, call 213-5555 or log on to funnybonecentral.com.